Okay. It's a very cloudy, very cloudy Monday here in Calgary. Um, and it's me, Julie Robinson, <laughs> your, uh, your broccoli of psychic mediums. I say broccoli because <clears throat> sometimes I say things that taste awful meaning true things, healthy things, but they're really good for you. So welcome to another segment of things that you may not want to hear. Um, yeah, um, announced that Angel Basics Level 1 is actually available one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people showed up on Friday for the group workshop for Angel Basics Level 1. I just wanted to let you know. I'm not sure if I'm doing another group between now and June. Um, but if you did want to take it with me, it is available one-on-one, -on -one. um, weekdays I'm teaching it. So better ways to connect with your angels for protection, also for psychic development. So that is coming up. Uh, so they're guiding me to actually read for Alyssa right now. So Alyssa, you have a lot of Archangel Gabriel energy and you have a lot of busyness <laughs> happening for you right now. I'm not sure if you're trying to organize something, but, um, Archangel Gabriel wants to talk about, um, okay, so I feel like they're actually showing me your partner for some reason. <laughs> um, Alyssa, I have a question for you. Does he have like deer in the headlights syndrome or something? Why are they showing me this picture of like your, your, is, this is your fiance, I think. Just like, like stunned. Like, I don't know if he doesn't know what to do or if he's just got a lot on his mind or if he's feeling overwhelmed. But I was just wondering how you connected to that. I wish you could join me in the chat room so you could tell me how you connect to that. Cause that's, that's what they showed me. I'm not sure what that means. Um, She's laughing so hard, you guys, in the comments right now. Alyssa, can you join me? I'm trying to see if I can send you this link. It's Taurus Hello. season for sure. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, so hilarious. Absolutely. Your, uh, your little reading. So um, my fiance is the coolest person in the world madly in love with them but it's hard for him to make decisions and when i ask him something he'll literally look at me and go uh, um uh, um so like i totally resonate girl yeah that. <laughs> that is so funny like because that's what i saw i was just when i looked in on him i was so like just this look of I feel dumbfounded. I was like, okay, there's no way I can ignore this. Like only Alyssa knows what this is. Like, it's so funny and he's so cute. Like he's got such a good soul and everything. Like you said, like he's a legitimately good guy. I just think he gets a little stunned sometimes. Totally. That's, that's really interesting that you picked that up. Yeah, that's so funny. But of course I don't pick it up, but it's, it's really the angels oh, yeah. that show it to me. Um, does he have God confidence, Alyssa? It's interesting that you say that too. Um, I've been getting a lot more God confidence. My faith has been coming back and his is not. And I've been trying to push it on him a little bit. So that's there. Yeah, that's amazing because Archangel Michael said what's missing is God confidence. And I was like, what does, what, how does, how is Alyssa going to connect to that? But it's so funny that you connect to it right away, you know, there's that saying, I'm sure you've heard this, that a man who is not accountable to a power greater than himself is a danger to himself. Hmm. And I, I just think, you know, he, he tries so hard and I think he relies on his own knowing and his own experience to kind of make it through things. And, you know, I mean, like he's a bit of a younger guy and a younger soul too, in that he's got such good intentions. I just think if he if he connected more to God and the angels, if if he if he passed his his cares to God more and stopped trying so hard to take everything on himself on his own strength, I just think that would really help to to fill him. If that makes okay. sense, totally it does. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because like, I mean, they show me you having like children and stuff. And like, I'm just like trying to imagine you're like, we're going to Callaway Park. Everybody get organized. And then he's just like, Gloo. okay, 
Julie, we literally had that exact conversation yesterday. And I was like, listen, I'm like, I am madly in love with you and you are my partner. And I truly believe that you're my soulmate. But when we have kids, it's going to get a lot harder. And I'm going to need you to be on this level with me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Because that was that they showed me that having that conversation with him, like that, you know, when it comes to higher stakes stuff, like he needs to kind of get with it a little bit more. And I think you know, just having that connection to faith or having that connection, whether it's Christianity or just, you know, a spirituality, he needs something where he can cast his kind of anxiety because, you know, men and women both get anxiety. But I think when we call in that higher power, it really helps to ground us. And it just makes us feel like we have more to offer. Love it. Okay. Thank you. (laughs) You're welcome. I I don't know if that was helpful for you. I mean, like, I hope it is. Always. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Well, let us know how that goes if you want. I mean, do you want to let us know? I'll keep everybody in my marriage. I'll just let everybody in. (laughs) No, I mean, you don't have to. But I mean, like, that's what came up for you today. I mean, but yeah, it's up to you. I look forward to hearing from you, though.